Hey there, folks! Ruthie MT here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. In the last part, we unlocked Gunbreaker, and I found a... Zervan Extreme Group. Incidents where one time we actually did hit the ads. We skipped soar. We hit the ads. I mean, we hit the ultimate. That was an experience. There was some look away attacks and yeah. Fiery wings, fiery hearts. Do the Isle Shire? Never fear. For a mere thousand kill. I'll personally give you a guide. I say you look like an adventurer who knows her business. Might you perchance be familiar with the Divine Lanners? You've tamed seven of them? I knew you were no ordinary adventure, but the thing you should be the very hero I sought. Please, allow me to be your guide. Worry not, I wouldn't dream of charging you for my services, but they are already paid for by a well-spoken and well-dressed fellow. Who is my mysterious employer, you ask? Oh, if you're keen to meet him, it just so happens he's keen to meet you, too. You find them at the snail over by the hard place. Always a pleasure, my friend. After an encounter with the Kirin, I caught wind of a brave soul said to command a veritable flock of divine landers. Just to find that individual that I have journeyed here. You are she? I find myself wholly unsurprised. Without further ado, while you are no stranger to landers, know you are the creature that rules over them all, the immortal firebird. Appearing in Far Eastern legends, the Firebird immolates itself in death to rise again from its own ashes. A glimpse of the creature fills one with hope, it is said, while well, a brush of its feather it bestows eternal happiness. Yet, for all its mesmerizing majesty, the Firebird is a lonely soul. Long has it soared the heavens in search of a companion, a hero whom this king among birds can count as its equal. Who else could that hero be but you, master to the seven divine lanterns? 
This is the Firebird whistle. It was passed to me during my journeys, and now I pass it to you. If she who sounds it is worthy, the Firebird will answer her call. I have no doubt that it will answer yours. I ask that you take the whistle to a vantage point and there sound it at the heavens. As I did when you summoned the Kirin, I will be would behold the moment with the fire bird descends. Such verses the sight would inspire within me. I knew I could count on you, and now I have taken the liberty of scouting a likely location for using the whistle. The southeastern reach of the Devonian hinterlands upon a rise leading to Corinthus. Between now and the moment of the meetings, I shall make myself scarce. Keeping to the shadows with beta breath, I take my leave of you. Now, this is where I think it is. I'm actually going to take a shortcut. Sort of shortcut. I'm going to take a path through the Corthus Western Highlands because I just like going that way. I think it's a little faster. Extra loading, but I think it is a little faster. Yup. That was a good way. Uh, let's go ahead and use the Firebird Whistle. This is a really nice vantage point, though, from up here. I can actually see all the birds because we know RNG is not going to give them to me. Except for Ravana. It likes Ravana. We know this much. <laughs> Beautiful beyond all imagining, the mighty firebird is come. Long last, the creature has met its match, a worthy hero to whom it would lend its wings. The Divine Lanterns, the Firebird, and you, traversing hardship and eternity, nine brilliant lives have come together to outshine the stars. Tis not short of a miracle. High above the heavens, a king in his domain, soaring o'er the creation, a lonely monarch reigns. Born upon the wind, the whistle's piercing sound, calls him to descend to find the soul by destiny bound. Ah, the words well up at a, as a gushing font. Oh, I believe I have my next creation, and I owe it all to you. It shall be called Fiery Wings, Fiery Hearts. I must say, it's bond with not only the Kirin, but the Firebird. Besides, you truly are a marvel, my friend. I am low to take my eyes off you, lest I miss a momentous moment. Ah, but I am not one to overstay my welcome. I shall leave you to resume your adventures. Doubtless, there will be many more with fiery wings bearing you. I look forward to hearing it of them. Till next we meet, Godspeed. Now, I'm gonna take a guess and say any mention where it says of Kieran and all that, it's just not gonna exist if you haven't finished all of the ponies. If this is your first one. He'll act like, oh wow! So nice to meet you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, just like fire and just like fire, let us go to Limsa. I don't know where I was going with that one, so. We're just gonna leave it there. Yeah. Let's just, just. Okay. <laughs> Hello, eager little Minson. Shall we dance? Good madam. Oh, good madam. You can spare a moment, yes? Of course you can. You see, I've just witnessed a performance most marvelous. I simply must tell someone about it. What sort of performance, you ask? Why, none other than the troupe of traveling dancers hailing from Raza Han across the sea. 
I dare say their bold, exotically beautiful motions are like nothing our realm has ever seen. Adventurers like you are always on the lookout for stimulating new experiences, are you not? You simply must witness the spectacle for yourself. Just follow the, this road toward the Covenant of the Dutiful Sisters, and you'll run smack dab into the stage they set up in the square. And of course we can't actually take any shortcut there. Greetings, Traveler! Come to see our little show, have you? On behalf of Troop Falsim, Falsiam, I welcome you. My troop mates are seeing to the final preparations, even as we speak. Don't want it too far. The curtain will be rising any minute now. It's been quite some time since we brought our arts to these shores, or so our fearless leader tells us. I've been practicing day and night ever since we arrived to bring you and your countrymen the performance of a lifetime. Alright. Wait, just got daytime real quick there. So close and yet so far, for all who cannot make the voyage to our home, we bring our art to yours. Hailing from Rods at Han across the sea, I present the incomparable, transcendent Troop Falsium. Today we have prepared a sumptuous feast for your eyes and ears. Let the soaring melodies and the stirring, striking steps of our dancers reach your heart and spirit you away to a distant world. Yes, just so, Rana. Betray not your trembling heart. Dance your dance till the last and let them fall under your spell. My apologies, I did not mean to intrude upon your experience. Pray ignore my mother and enjoy the girl's performance. She's trained quite hard for this day, after all. You carry yourself with a certain grace, don't you? Ah, uh, but do excuse me, I forget myself. Forgive me for not having properly introduced myself. I am Nashmira, principal dancer and leader of Troop Falciam. Rana, the girl whose performance you are admiring, is my number one student and protege. 
This may seem a bit forward, but pray tell, have you ever harbored aspirations of stepping on stage? Of losing yourself in a whirlwind of music and motion and enchanting your audience with your every movement? Forgive me, I know this is all quite sudden, and yet I cannot help myself. From my from the very first from the first moment I laid eyes on you, I saw how can I put it? A poise that could only be honed on the field of battle. Excuse me. Yes, there is no doubt in my mind. You look like a fine dancer. I see you are confused and for good reason. Allow me to explain. There are forms of dancement, merely to grace the stage, and then there are th is the art of true faucier. We dance the Cree stunts, a dance war so ancient it is said to predate even the founding of our city. Our dancers train primarily in two techniques, each with applications both ornamental and martial. For one, we are proficient in tossing throwing weapons, which are most dazzling to the eyes, and even more damaging to any unfortunate foes they strike. The second is, of course, dancing itself. Perhaps you have already felt it, but it is believed that there are mystical powers to our movements, which can serve to heighten senses, lift spirits, and drive weakness and worry from people's hearts. The worry of the people of Eorzea have done well to rebuild this realm in the Calamity's wake. Yet there are scars that still go unhealed, and the specter of war still looms large over the land. If our art of dance might serve in some small way to ease worries and fears, and offer succor to the hearts of Eorzeans far and wide, nothing would bring our humble troop greater honor. And so did I decide to lead Troop Falsium on a tour of this realm. There is, however, a bit of a rub. We have come with only two dancers, Rana and myself, I'm still nursing an injury I suffered on the voyage over. My protege is a talented one, but I can hardly ask her to bear the burden of the tour alone, so I felt compelled to reach out to you. I can assure you that the arrangement would be to our mutual benefit. Should you offer us your aid, I will personally instruct you in the art of the Creek Sons, an art that will avail you not only on the stage, but on the field of battle as well. Worry not. I will not force you to rush your decision. We must begin rehearsal for our next performance. Do give some thought to my offer and seek me out again, should you be so inclined. Your trip friend, have you taken the time to think over my offer? Want to train as a dancer? Yes. Splendid! To tell the truth, I had feared your answer would be no, but fortune smiles upon Troop Falcium today. As principal dancer and company leader, allow me to officially welcome you to our ranks. Wait, don't tell me. Nashimura has handpicked you to join our troop and become a dancer? Is Rana right? Or is Rana right? I knew it! I haven't been doing this for as long as Mistress Nashimura, but even I can see that your poison posture is anything but ordinary. But don't get your hopes up too high. You're gonna have to work your arse off to outshine Ron Amigo. Well, it's suffice to say that I will be watching both of your careers with great interest. Oh, but where are my manners? I haven't even asked my student her name. Ow. An elegant name indeed. Very well, Arya. This is for you. The crystal houses the amassed knowledge and memories of generations of our forebears. Butterflies of the battlefield who have fluttered their way into history and legend. Take it and treasure it. And of course, you'll be needing a change of clothes. Here, this outfit should do. Go ahead, put it on. You'll be amazed at the freedom of movement the pliant cloth fabric affords you. The pliant, pliant, pliant. Pliant. Dancer unlocked. All right. Let's go ahead and use the stop, stop steppers of the tire coffer and also the fire whistle. <laughs> and let's hit the right menu. And uh, oh, this hurts. And over the dancer. Oh, I'm gonna have to gear this thing up so badly. <laughs> Wow. Okay, anyways. Gambling for Gil. I have 
came many a dance from my day, but I cannot recall ever having seen the crystal take to one of our new recruits so quickly. Truly, there is prodigious talent within you just waiting to be untapped. I've never seen anything like it either. Why, right? this rate, she might even be able to challenge me for the position of Troop Boss Neon's Rising Star. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Verona. <laughs> but yes, with Arya in our ranks, our ultimate goal might at, well, might at long last be within our reach. Blech. Before that, however, I should share with you the full details of our of our planned itinerary. As I may have mentioned, we have traveled to these shores with two purposes. To share our time-honored art with Eorzeans far and wide, and in doing so, to be par to do our part in help heal any lingering scars left by the calamity. Lemsilamin to here was the first stop on our tour of the realm. This leaves us with four destinations. Uda, Gridania, Ishgard, and finally, Alamigo. Hmm. And yet, Alamigo remains under Gralian rule. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, and Ishgard is still dealing with the repercussions of the Dragon Song War. I believe it would be best to put off our performances in no destinations until we can be certain our presence there will be welcome. And so, by process of elimination, the next two destinations in our tour are all but decided. However, there is another important matter we must attend to before we set off. Find ourselves a patron willing to sponsor our jaunt across the realm, yes? Precisely with what little coin remains in our coffers after the long journey, we can scarce afford to put our humble production put on humble productions like the one Arya just witnessed. We must find someone who will spare no expense in helping us bring our art to every corner of Eorzea. Fortunately, I have learned of someone who might be suited to that role. An acquaintance of mine in these lands, a songstress no less, introduced me to an influential merchant who considers it his life's work to promote daring new forms of creative expression the realm over. The men in question has all but agreed to fund our tour on one condition. We must grace him with a private performance, and he must deem it to be a true artistic revolution unlike anything he's seen before. An artistic revolution? That sounds like an awfully tall order. Indeed it is. After all, an ace that is of such renown is, has surely seen a Near Eastern dance or two in this day. So I asked myself, what could we possibly show this man that would truly awe and inspire him? Long did I struggle to come up with an answer, but no longer. Arya, you will take the stage with Rana and transform into a full-fledged dancer before this band's very eyes. Yes, I call it. A flower blooms on the battlefield. Yes, yes, it is all coming to me now. For the final act, Rana here will play the role of a formidable foe, unleashing a fearsome array of steps and swirls against you. You must fend them off, retaliating with flourishes of your own in a dramatic dance battle for the ages. Are you not taking the stage together? My tail is tingling with excitement just thinking about it. Through ba our battle, we'll show our would-be patron that our art is more than just for show. Why, it's positively perfect. I know it's your first performance, but you need it work. Now, Shamira and I will be right there for with you. Just follow our lead, let the music carry you, and I'm sure our performance will knock this bigwig merchant's socks off. Rona speaks true. I would not have invited you into our ranks if I did not believe, if I did not know, you're capable of what I ask. And so, let us not delay any further. Our audience awaits us in a place called, oh yes, Costa del Sol. I have a first order of business though. I'm gonna go take a little jaunt over to the marker board. Because A, I need to fix my top bar. And B my accessories suck. Excellent! My two racing stars are here and we can finally get the show on the road. But first, we shall pay our respects for our patron to be, Master Gigi Ruju. Come with me. Of course it's him. Who else would it be since we're here? Master 
Mr. Gigi Ruchu. It is a pleasure and an honor to be invited to your lovely estate. Hmm. I am Neshmira, leader and principal dancer of Troop Falcium, and I stand before you today with two of my most promising protégés. Yes, yes, welcome in- oh, they'll take me. Is that you, Titan's Maid? Moonlighting as a dancer these days, are you? I must admit, I thought venturing was more lucrative than that. Mind you, when you're as wealthy as me, the best is a given. No, I won't be content with merely a masterful performance. I want to see something daring, something profound, something the likes of which this realm has never seen. I trust you're up to the task. We wouldn't let your eyes be—we would let your eyes be a judge of that, Master Gigi Ruju. For today, Coast del Sol will be the venue of the inaugural performance of Troop Falcium's newest production. I call it a flower blooms on the battlefield. inaugural solo instance. Your very first performance and already you're taking center stage. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Your first opponent will be a training mannequin designed specifically to hone an aspiring dancer's skills. Breathe deeply, move with purpose, and it'll be a breeze. At the same time, always remember that the Krieg stance is a dance of war. I know you're among friends here, but I want you to imagine yourself on the battlefield, le battlefield leaping and twirling through a legion of foes. Now let's ma knock this Master Gigi Ruja out of his 100,000 gill stockings! Are you ready? Alright, so we're gonna be eye level sync again. Except I don't think we are, because we're actually 256, not 265. That's it! Fire in your eyes, the chance of our lifetimes! So the same passion burn in your heart and hold nothing back. Let the curtain rise. That's some raptor leather cells on the market board. <laughs> You still lack for experience, this I know, but take heart, for I have crafted this performance specifically to draw your innate talent, step by precious step. Follow my lead, and you will be, and you will feel yourself transforming into a full-fledged dancer before you even know it. Lose yourself in the music, let the passion in your heart take over, and you will move as you have never moved before. Yes, you are the flower on this battlefield, and today, you will blossom. has been seeing things if you're under the item level anyway. Are you ready, Arya? First, you want to execute what we call a closed position and choose me as your partner. Once you've chosen a partner, you'll be able to invigorate them through your dancing. So this is the first thing you always want to do when you enter an instance, is pick someone to close partner with. You do not want to stack. There's another dancer in your group. You don't want to stack with that same dancer. Trust me, follow my lead. So, yeah, ideally, like in four man, if there's two dancers, you'll each pick one of the melee. Or DPS, other DPS rather. Apologies for the delay, Master Gigi Ruzu. Without further ado, behold, as our flower blooms on the battlefield, finally it's time for the show. This had be best be all I've heard of it. Lest you're not getting a single coin of mine. Phew, no pressure, eh? All right, Arya, let's begin with the basics. Commence your dance. Make two standard steps and top it off with a double standard finish. So, standard step is going to be this yellow ability here. Hit it, and you're main single target abilities will change into your dance steps. You want to hit two that come up highlighted. They'll also show in this little dance thing over here. And commence. Commence your dance and make... Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, this is the same troop Falcian. Perhaps your repetition was well deserved after all. That's it. Can you feel the power welling up from within you? Now it's my turn. Well, she does that. I'm actually gonna move some stuff here. Can you feel the strength surging within you? Just like this, you and your partner. 
inspire and feed off one another to bring out the best in both of you. Now, but we're just getting warmed up, aren't we? Gigi Rosa wants to see more, so go on ahead and show him what you've got. Fancy steps again. So again, we'll just follow what it shows here. I just always go off what the hot bar has highlighted. <laughs> I, I, I like never look down over there. Simply standing and never knew the Eastern dance was so alluring. Not bad, not bad at all. Be must show me more and more, I say. Well, team Master Gigi Rouge has warmed up to you. Next, show him what you can do with this mannequin here. Behold, Master Gigi Rouge, my protege will now put on a show with this dancing doll. Watch as she fans off its mighty magics. Oh, -ho, nothing like a good battle to get the blood pumping. From here, you must dance to your own rhythm. Use your weapons to your advantage as well and sell your foe. So, we're going to have our basic combo here. Um, they have a 50% chance to combo into another stage. And this is also one thing that this instance is going to teach you. Standard finish is an AoE attack. You will be wanting to use this every time it is up. It is one of your best damaging moves as a dancer. So you want to use it. You can use it every 30 seconds. <laughs> Elegant and deadly? Yes, I do believe. I approve. Do not forget your stand there, stand. Stand your death. And... You will strike your foe. Invigorate yourself and your companions in the process. Yeah, the other bonus is you also get the standard finish buff on you and whoever you're targeting. This increases damage dealt. Let's go ahead and take care of this. I need to know those. Doesn't feel right in my hands. So yeah, we're also getting these thing, these uh these fan pieces, the fan dance steps. Uh, now that's what they call dancing. What's next? The show will go on, yes? Alright, Arya, we've messaged you we're right where we want him. It's time for you and Rana to take the stage together. I trust you are enjoying the show. Now we present the grand finale. Behold, as my two dancers clash in a display of dangerous beauty. A duel of two dancers, you say? Now that's what I came to see. Come, my lovelies, and sweep me off my feet. Are you ready, Arya, for the final act? We'll be performing together. Watch me closely and try to keep up, okay? So yeah, these are going to come up as you go ahead, as you use the cobble piece off your base two pieces. I always set it up so my hot bar will be... Um, set it, I always set it up so that they'll be right next to each other. But yeah, so at, there's a 50% chance we're getting a fourfold feather, which is how we can use our fan dances. So. So the most important thing to remember about your standard step um, cooldown is it's from when you in first initiate it, it's not from when you finish it. So a good thing, um, I'm gonna go quicker, but as I watch, I've only begun the fight, so... Yeah, so it starts from when you first initiate, not from when you finish. So a good thing to always do is when you start a fight, you want to, hopefully, the tank will do a countdown. Dancers become one of the, like, the biggest jobs you want to count down for. Because that will give you a huge boost and let you standard finish, or do your next standard dance stuff into, earlier into the fight. Looks like someone's feeling comfortable out there, but your rival still has a couple tricks up their sleeve. So this is going to be a, literally a fanning thing. We're gonna wanna follow them and not get hit. My eyes are blinded by sheer beauty. I'm gonna have to double check on my own dance my main dance for the make sure I this right. I'm just rolling, ripping through the skies. I think that's the main things. Um the other important thing I haven't really mentioned here is this other set of fours. These are your AoE attacks. Basically the same thing um as the other ones. Um 50% chance to go to the next step in each one, and 50% chance to give you a feather. But it's your AoE one. Um, one of these stances is your single target, the one of them is your AoE. Fan dance two is your AoE one. Obviously, the rule of three still applies here. And there we go. Inconceivable. I I I've never seen anything like them. And there we go, that's your introduction to Dancer.
They don't really explain the feathers too much in there. I think they kind of expect you to just read your tooltips. Reading your tooltips is usually a good idea anyway, but... Yeah, they don't really explain the feathers in there. Just your... Making sure you know what to do with standard stat. Because I see... I see a lot of dancers just not... Like, they'll do it every 60 seconds, which is... Obviously, you're just literally cutting your DPS in half because you're using it half as often. And... Yeah... Also, not partnering. <laughs> partnering is also a really good thing to do because you also buff the DPS of another person in your party. I think it's like a 5% buff. So, I mean... Are you sure that was your first time up on stage? I could swear I was watching a veteran up there. I couldn't take my eyes off of you for a moment. Well, this is a secondary character, you know. But hey, my moves were nothing to sneeze at either, right? <laughs> of course, all the flashy lights were just for show. I set them up beforehand. Just to live up our performance, you know. But enough about me. This was your day to shine. If that meant me playing the villain for a day, then so be it. I'm just proud to have played my part in helping your talents bloom. <laughs> now that was a sight to behold. A bold young woman taking on one fearsome foe after the next and transforming into a masterful dancer before my very eyes. Yes, I do believe I've not seen anything quite like it. Your words do us great honor, Master Gigi Ruju. Might we also count on you to loosen your purse strings and sponsor Troop Falcium on our tour across your fair realm? Hmm, it is true, of course, that your troop deserves a far wider audience. Yet your performance moved me so that I couldn't bear the part with you so soon. I must say, I found myself particularly smitten with a young kitten who played the villain's role. Rana, was it? Perhaps I could interest you in signing a contract to be one of my personal dancers. I I promise it would be a lucrative one. Oh, oh why you flatter me, Master Jujuruju. I fear I'm still in training. I can't very well leave Miss Nashmira's side until our tour is complete. Is that so now? No, no, this simply won't do. I'm afraid your rejection has so devastated me that I simply don't have it in me to fund your little excursion after all. You can't be serious. You gave us our wa your word. He won't take no for an answer. Whatever shall we do, Arya? Hmm. We can do this the easy way, or... Oh, what's that supposed to mean? S -s -s just stop looking at me like that. You're scaring me. I, I just... I, I just... I um, ever took you dancers to be such a bloody serious lot. I only meant to express how utterly enthralled I was by your peerless performance. You have provided me with precisely the sort of bold and audacious artistic revolution I sought. As per our deal, I'm more than happy to offer you the financial backing you so clearly deserve. We are most grateful, Master Gigi Ruju. Truly, your aesthetic sensibilities are matched only by your boundless generosity. I believe we shall begin preparing for our forthcoming performance in Ulda. Wait, I see. I mean, if I might make just one small request. I ask not that you sign an exclusive contract, only that you, one of you sojourn here as my honored guest and entertain me for a spell. In return, in addition to my patronage, I promise I'll deliver you a personal letter of recommendation to the syndicate on your behalf. Well, I do believe that sounds like a mutually beneficial agreement. Arrangement. In that case, Master, Master Jujuruju, you may have the pick of any of my troop, excepting Arya, of course. The deal's done! Yes, I'll be more than content with the lovely Miss Rana here. We have the negotiations with the syndicate to me. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing every move in your repertoire. The pleasure is mine, Master Chichi Rishu. And please introduce me to your personal dancing girls as well. I'm sure there's so much they could teach me about the art of dance in the Orsia. there for a moment, but all's well that ends well. I'll go and share the good news with the others. Pray, come along if you'd like. Alright, there you are. 
When Master Teacher Bruges are insisting on taking Rana from us, I thought all our efforts were for naught. But it seems we've come away with everything we bargained for, and then some. And it's all thanks to you. It really was quite remarkable how he changed his tune after you gave him just a single glance. Clearly, he possessed remarkable powers of persuasion. At any rate, I suppose a sort of sojourn here could benefit us, all, benefit us all. Ron seems eager to get to know the dancers here, and I must attend to administrative task before our next performance. In the meantime, why don't you put your newfound skills to the test? I suspect you'll be quite pleased with how well they serve you. So yeah, of course, that's basically the, the next quest is at level 62. See you then. So, yeah, that's the basic introduction to Dancer. Um, other things I never really mentioned here is this is a uh, party-wide uh, defense increase. Reduces damage taken by 10%. Blast for 15 seconds. Does not stack with the Machinist version or the Bard version. Uh, on the Vaunt, which I did actually use in there, is basically a force movement thing. You can force yourself forward slightly. I think it does actually say 10 yalms. Uh, Curing Waltz restores HP, on HP and HP of all nearby party members. And if you're partnered, does the same effect on your partner. So it's a nice little healing buff that can help you get through a little tight scrape to say the healers are busy or something. Um, of course, second wind we know. Um, head graze we got on our tank. And yeah. Yeah. So I originally wasn't actually planning on getting Dancer. But <laughs> uh, they sort of announced this stuff. It was like, I need to level a range job now. It was between this and Machinist. Problem is, Machinist required a lot more leveling. I really wanted to do Machinist. I really did. It was just so much more leveling compared to Dancer. Since Dancer starts at 60 and Machinist starts at 30. Yeah, uh, a little bit of a difference there. So, Dancer won out in the end. I see a kitty. I need to pet it. Must pet Coral Kitty. Anyways, on that note, we... So I'm kind of going to put a few things off. Um, we're actually almost at the end of Heaven's Word. We just have one massive quest line to get through. You may recognize him from from Reborn. However, he's back. The Agent of Inquiry, Hildebrand, Manderville. So thank you for watching! If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All the support greatly helps to keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, this is Rinny MT, signing out.